I couldn't say that. Okay. I can't. I'm not in the position to say that. I was just happy to see my boy. My boy was just happy to see me. I just went to smoke up with him, listen to the album. Me and him chopped it up. I left his. I left seven in the morning, went back to my hotel, and then that's when hell started happening. Yeah. Hmm. Is this is this industry as evil as people pointed out to be? Obviously, we know contracts and how dirty the business can be. We know business right. can be dirty, but we're talking about the other thing, the, the that secret door that no one's allowed to go into unless you're part of something different. Is it evil on that level being in a game in, as long as you've been in? Well, sometimes you get approached about when you get to a certain status, you probably get approached about whoever. But at the end of the day, it's you that make that determine if you want to cross that bridge and that's a bridge you want to cross then that's on you so whatever you sacrificing to do for your career because there's a lot of people that sell their soul if mm -hmm. you want to sell your soul go ahead and sell your soul because you know the devil is here to kill and destroy me i never have to sell my soul me i never have to be worrying about this and that me all i had was a great entertainment attorney i know what i'm signing i know about my royalties i know about my publishing you understand so i don't play them type of games you know what i'm saying what for, for the people who what would you kind of name a few things but what would consist of selling your soul to a new artist coming up what would you like depends it de it, de it depends what what deal the what deal that the devil draw up to you because the devil <clears throat> could work through many different people the record labels the managers yeah they come the devil comes in all shapes and sizes. You just gotta detect who the devil is. Because mm. a lot of people, yo, I just want to be famous. I just want to be an Instagram. I just want to be the insta. All these people that shoot to the think fast sometimes, you know, they do things that we don't know about what they do. And I consider that selling your soul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You seeing somebody raise from head to head to head. And you seeing them with weird type of people, come on, man. That thing is in front of you. But again, I, I you know, I don't put it past anybody. In this day and time, yeah. We we seeing spaceships. What happens when them spaceships stop and say, We're here just to take all the water from this from the earth? <laughs> <laughs> right? What happens tomorrow if they cut out food or whatever well, now we got to go back and start growing food for us to survive like i don't put it past anything right in this in this industry on what people've done now if they did that that's on them if things are happening to them because that's the price that they pay for fame see when you're in the music business you ain't supposed to pay your way in the music business and you supposed to be chosen for this game now, if you choose to sell your soul, that's on you. Because there's people out here selling their soul for fame. But, you know, that's going to only last for so long. But remember, I told you, the devil moves in shapes and sizes. He'll come mm -hmm. through the managers. He'll come through, yo, do you, do you think this is a good deal? You got to know if it's a good deal. Don't ask me. You know, a lot of people don't know what type of deal to sign. I think those 360s are a bad deal. Yeah. A lot of artists are stuck in it. You see a lot of artists complaining, yo, I ain't get this, I ain't get this, yeah. I ain't get my publishing, I ain't do this. I, Yo, let me show y'all something. And I'm gonna tell every independent artist and artist, old school and new school, negotiating a deal, make sure you have a great entertainment attorney. Not the homeboy operation. Right. Not the homeboy. Not the friend that's a manager who used to be a lawyer. Make sure you have an entertainment attorney to teach you what you're signing before you sign. He needs to mark it up. He needs to explain it to you before you put your name on the contract. 
Just don't put your name on the contract and not know your stipulations on the contract or what you could do and what you can't do. That is the problem why artists are complaining that they're not getting their money. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen 20 million times, seven different ways. Yo, I didn't get my advance. Yo, I've been funding this project out of my pocket. Yo, that motherfucker, he owe me this. He owe me that. So, all right. So now what I'm saying to y'all is accurate because first thing I would have said, who the fuck is your attorney? Right. Who told you to sign this contract? Yeah. All these motherfuckers was hyped up on your dick telling you, yeah, sign it, sign it, sign it. <laughs> Yo, sign it. That's the homeboy operation. So you got the homeboy operation deal, but you mad at everybody. You mad at the label. You mad at the dude that put you on. You mad at this point, but you should be mad at your motherfucking self. Damn. And your attorney. You lashing out, but that's your fucking fault because you sold yourself. See? The answer that you asked why the artists sell self because they be thinking at the time this will be a great move. Yeah, it might seem that on the upfront end, but then as you go on in your contract, them contracts got words that could switch, turn on this year and this date, this thing turn. But if you're not locked in and not understanding what you signed, you on that fuck boy right now. Mm. You got a fuck boy contract. Mm. And you got the fuck boy because, again, your attorney who you pay all this percentage to didn't steer you in the right way. And first thing all this want to do is blame the labels. When you blame the label, the label's going to still move. When you blame the management, the label's going to, the, the management going to still move. When you blame the artist who signed you because he's an artist yourself, he's going to still move. I bet you his contract is straight. It's just your attorney and you was going for that upfront bread. That advance, that show money. Now you ain't get doing that much shows. Now you upset. Now you're mad, and you gotta be mad at you, not the record labels. They didn't do nothing. They just offered you a contract that you and your attorney were supposed to go back and forth to come to a medium. Boom. This is why I had a Chris Lightly. I never had them fucking problems. You dig? Mm -hmm. My man negotiated my contract with my attorney. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting down with both of them, understanding what my terms are. And if they're the label, don't, and, and, and I'm going to tell every artist the secret to an industry contract. So this is the secret. Mm -hmm. When you sign a deal, make sure you have these terms. If the label don't do something that they were supposed to do, you have a clause that you can walk away with the masters and walk away with whatever they owe you. A lot of artists, new artists don't have that. Mm -hmm. And they're talking crazy and it's looking crazy. And what that do is it dims down your music. It makes you look dim out here in these internet streets. Makes you look crazy. You're going on a ramp about everybody didn't pay you. <clears throat> At the end of the day, my G, I seen 20 new artists complaining about being on certain labels. Before, a couple months ago, you wasn't tripping. You was showing all the bread on the, on the, on the ground. Yeah. You yeah. was getting to it. Yeah. What changed now? See, and then you got to ask yourself, you got to blame yourself before you start pointing fingers. You didn't get an upfront. Oh, well, all them videos and all that traveling on the label, you thought it was free when it really wasn't free. It was in that term in them contracts and your position on that contract that you miss. See, the problem is we don't know how to read as black people. Mm. We don't read before we move, move further. We take the upfront money, but we don't read the fine print. What I love about Chris Lighty, he broke my contract down and he said, this is what this mean. This is what that mean. Do you want to do it? Nah, fuck no. I don't want to be signing them for like eight years. For what? Mm -hmm. Nah, we're going to take that out. 
well, they're going to give you this much per album. If you go go to platinum, this is how much you get. I'm like, word? Well, since you went gold already, but this is how much you get for the new album. So I would be, I'm going to take a little bit now because I know the second one is going to do the gold. And then I'm going to chop down the albums that I want to be with the label because I don't want to give them eight albums. I, I'd rather give them four than I'm out. Oh, better yet, I'll give them the best stuff. Because every time it clack, I get lock. Oh, there you go. I get I, I get to those type of things. Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. So I get more points. I get more publishing. Um, you you know what I'm saying? You have to know the structure of your contract. I tell every artist this: Do not sign Homeboy Operation. Just don't sign it and not understanding what you signed. Because later on, you signed your publisher in a way. You got that upfront money. You rocking the million dollar joint. You like this. But now you fucking mad. You stuck. Because you didn't read the fine print. And the homeboy that was with you every day that got the same thing. Yo, just sign it. It's, it's cool. Nah. You might know a couple of lines, but you're not an entertainment attorney. Not a criminal attorney is it, it, is a difference. Mm -hmm. You got to know the difference. You got to play the game in a different way. Every independent artist that's watching this. So what? This dude is who he is. You think he going to put you on? He going to put you on. But understand, when you structure your contract, make sure you structure it just in case if this dude acts funny, you can skate out. You ain't got to complain. You got yours. Everybody doesn't know how to get this. Oh, he never gave me advance on my record. I've been fronting out my pocket. You toop it. I ain't front nothing out my pocket. Right. And everything that I spent, I know when I spent it. When, when they did my budget, I knew how much my budget was. But I also knew that I went gold. I also knew I went this. I also knew I went that. So again, <clears throat> how much did I make for the label? Now, if you're independent, for those that don't know, we live in, in the streaming time. So I come from the unit ever. But mm -hmm. in the unit ever, if you sold a certain amount of records, you are able to finagle whatever did the label spent, you paid them back. After you paid them back, now the label is saying, we want to give you another advance. But you're not giving me no advance. This is the advance that we negotiated if I did these type of numbers because it was in my contract, if I got to a certain number, y'all had to pay me a certain amount of dollars mm -hmm. and points. And my producers all got paid. It wasn't the producer saying, yo, yo, I never got paid. I did the beat. <clears throat> His lawyer ain't calling me back. The late, no, we, we, you got paid early. You got mm -hmm. your advance. You came to the studio. You tracked the record. Once we put it out, next couple of weeks after that, <clears throat> there's a check at the label that you need to go pick up. That's how we handle things for the producer. All my producers that's producing records. It's cool that you're producing records, but understand your terms. Understand if you're going to license the record. Understand if you're going to give up publishing or you're just going to sell a beat outright. Don't confuse the artist. Artist. You need to learn how to read these contracts. Understand, Lost understand the rules of the game. It's not personal. It's business. That's right. Once artists can understand business and their contracts, you won't hear nobody complaining because it's not a homeboy operation. But we good. So I bet. <clears throat> what I'm saying is artists, mm -hmm. we're paying attention. Pay attention to what you're signing. That's why you fucking mad. That's why you sold yourself. Mm. We just presented a business opportunity for you. We got to know when to hold them and fold them. We got to learn how to read and understand what we read. We have to have the, the right people in our, in, in our situation to understand what business is. It's business. It's business. It's business. It's business. It's what it is, the music business. You better ask somebody. Indeed, there's a there's a handful that understand what business is, and I'm one of them. <laughs> and I have success off the music business. 
You don't got to see me for years. Yo, ramp fell off, ramp this. Let me show you my business technique. My game is serious. A lot of dudes from my era swimming with Nemo right now. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> understand that because they didn't understand business. It was personal. People all in their feelings. This is the music business. You complaining about a label, management, whatever. You got to blame yourself first. Real quick. You got to understand what your contract read. Did it take a said. hard My fault. But did it take a hard time for you to understand that and learn it or that's something you always knew? Fuck no. I had to learn that from Chris Lighty, who was a great negotiator, who was a great manager, who told you the truth. This is what they offering you. Hey, we could do it like this, do it like this. Nah, take that shit out. Nah, boom, boom. Yo, this is how I'm understanding when you have a great manager and a great entertainment attorney, not a criminal attorney because you ain't going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> or not a homeboy all in your ass sign that right now like, let's get this advance it's twenty thousand dollar advance let's get this hundred thousand let's get this million dollar advance <clears throat> see when people take these advances these are alone these are this is not yours mm -hmm. but if you dope you can negotiate a deal when they give you an advance you don't have to pay it back there's a certain way that you can do but when you sign in these 360s you really in the 360 that's a trick on you Mm -hmm. I'm from the era with we don't do 360s. What up? So you're gonna hear a couple of artists beefing, beefing, and beefing. See, they want to beef, but if you look at the words on the contract, it tells you, play, yo, you signed this for this, this, this. We advanced you this, but you didn't understand that it was an advance. You thought it was up front. You see what I'm saying? But we as people, we don't read enough. We don't understand. Now we mad. Because the royalty checks is hold up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now we want to go independent. <laughs> right. Y'all get it? And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not singling nobody out. I'm just telling you, independent, major, whoever. Old school, new school, the, the rules apply. It's just business. First of all, you got to be mad at yourself, playboy. Mm. It's the music business. That's real. It's 90% business. And if you take it personal, then it's on you, playboy. You talking about him, but his business is right. <laughs> he knew what it said on the contract because he ain't too big. He read the contract. <laughs> and I see all great artists always complaining that they didn't get their shit. But you got to blame the homeboys, the influencers, everybody around you, the million dollars that y'all be throwing on the gram. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm rich, nigga, I'm rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I read that contract, your, your shit is dead -ended. Mm. Now you want to get off. Now you want a good manager to get you off and he can't get you off because there's stipulations in that contract. You forgot to read, stupid. You took the advantage, stupid. You didn't read, stupid. Learn the game. You want to be in the music business. Anybody's watching this. Learn the game. It don't matter if you got a million dollars when you before you got in the game. It don't matter if you just signed this deal with so-and-so and, -so and this one entertainment. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have a great attorney. What matters if you have a great manager. What matters if you understand what you're signing. Once you understand that, my G, you can walk away with your masters without telling people you got your masters. Because it's how you structured your contract. Game. Real talk, 100. Hey, man, we definitely appreciate Rampage on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. I wish we had more goddamn time, and I wish we could be in person, man. We tried to set it up to get you in person. How can nah, I, I, I'll be up top soon, and I'm going to come sit and talk to you. We got to tap in, because about 30 years worth of stories we would love to tap into and get you on a personal level and, and discuss some things. But more. all my independence artists, I'm not trying to down y'all. I'm just trying to yeah. wisen you up on the knowledge. Stop yeah. being mad. You got to be mad at yourself, my G.
Yeah. Ain't nothing to be sensitive about either. To take game from somebody that's been in the game and is trying to give you some wisdom and some love. So us as young boys and stuff need to just some take our, our ego and put it aside a little bit and take some wisdom, man. Ain't nothing wrong sure. with that. Sure. How you going to feed your mama if you can't read, my G? Mm. How you going to feed your kids if you can't read? So what? You got a million dollars in your pocket. I bet you didn't pay them taxes. Oh, shit. See, we don't want to go there. Right. Yo, a lot of these dudes, one thing, a lot of these dudes get caught on the block and they don't got no insurance. A lot of these dudes in this rap game getting shot and killed. None of them got insurance. Nobody right. can take care of their kids, but them, they was taking care of their kids out their pocket. This the new time we doing. Mm -hmm. No diss to them, but nobody, because nobody told them. You need to have insurance when you get caught on the block so they can take care of your seeds. Right. Stop thinking about yourself and take care of yourself and your family. They miss that. They get caught on the block, bomb, they done. Another rapper passed away. What he had? Nothing. Now I'm seeing GoFundMe's. How is they GoFunding you and you the one with you the ball with the money? <laughs> yeah. Somebody hustling backwards. Mm -hmm. What do you got to fall on, young artist? Nothing. I got the money. I'm getting it now. That's all that matter. Okay, you can get it now. But soon, soon as somebody slap you in the face or clap you in the face, mm. you're looking crazy out here in these internet streets. Stop fronting, man. Learn the business. It's business. That's right. It's never person. Exactly. If you can, man, we definitely appreciate you once again. Can you drop your social media handles where anybody can reach you at as well? At the Real Rampage, Instagram, right. Rampage the Last Boy Scout, Instagram. Real I'm on the ground with it. Real quick before we get up out of here, any new music, anything you need to tell the people that they need to be looking forward to? And my new sneakers, boy. What I got to send y'all a pair of new R.1s, my G. Oh, yeah. Damn sure. Got need. these, boy. These joints is official. Your boy got his own sneaker company. When I say that, I got my own manufacturer. When I say that, I, I don't got no partners. I fund this out my pocket. I could read. Understand, That's my business is good. Got my water company, Splash Drip. Got my sneaker company, Rated R Empire. Mm -hmm. You can't stop my flow. You Nobody in the world can stop my flow. I can read. My business is, is good. I you invested in myself. I, I ain't waiting on nobody. What's that say on the side? It says Rampage. Rampage. That shit is dope. Make, like that. make sure you send us a link so we can put it in the description make box. Sure both of y'all, this is what I need, man. This is what I need from y'all. Right. If I send y'all a pair of these rated R's, I need to make sure y'all blow it out. Y'all got them exclusive. It's in your sizes. And make sure everybody has my link to go purchase. Let's I want to send both of y'all a pair. Jeez. I want y'all to put y'all sneakers up on some Run DMC. Put it in the air. And all my people that got rated R's, put your rated R's in the air. That's all. Promote me, it. man. Promote me like y'all promote Jordan, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's love, and that's a damn show. That's a damn so show. text me y'all sizes, and then I'll right, get that out to y'all. When y'all get that, make sure y'all show me the love. Send do a promo. Yo, we rocking these rampage rated R's. These joints is official. Give me 50 seconds, and that's it. That's all I need. Got you, bro. It's already done. Already done. Say no more, bro. We definitely don't let me don't let me come over there and sponsor the show. You already know. We wouldn't be mad at that either, brother. I got to send y'all some Splash Drip. You know, my new water company, Splash Drip, coming to a store near you worldwide. I'm, I'm making major moves, my G. This is what I call investing in yourself. I'm the one to take my royalties and invest in my company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, we definitely love it. Love yeah. the support, man. And we definitely I salute y'all. Y'all know y'all my brothers forever. Whatever y'all need from me, no Hollywood, somebody talking the bullshit, call me. I got y'all. I appreciate bro. that, Humble, bro. Man. Thank you, brother. Platform's yours anytime. Hit us up, man. Hit Salute. Right